Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use uh, Dreamweaver to create uh, PHP applications having MySQL as a backend. You know, uh, there are a lot many websites on the internet they are using, uh, which are using PHP uh, as, as, a, uh, as an application and as a website other than uh, ASP.NET. ASP.NET being a competitor for PHP. Well, PHP is also uh, very nice that it's, uh, you know, uh, it is uh, executing very fast uh, and, uh, you know, you'll see lots of benefits and advantages as we go along with this uh, tutorial. So, uh, so first, what we need to do is just configure Dreamweaver because we are going to be using Dreamweaver as a, uh, as a development tool. There are a lot many uh, development tools available that you can use to develop PHP applications. Well, uh, I find Dreamweaver much nice and uh, uh, it is having s a very nice user interface and uh, it is a good development environment actually. So first what we need to do is we need to configure this uh, site okay, to make sure that our uh, everything is working just fine. So what we need to do is we need to go to the site menu, click on new site and here we need to specify the site name, uh, whatever your website, uh, I mean actually your the name of your website is gonna go here, okay, and then uh, well as a matter of fact I have already uh, configured one, okay, instead of you seeing me writing the whole thing again, I can just show you what I've done here, okay, this is the, uh, the site that I've already set up, okay, I can just click on this one, I can click on edit, okay, there you go. So this is the name of my website. Okay, I've just named this one as Simple Test, and then uh, here, this is the folder in your uh, in your root. Here I'm using VAMP. I'm not using IIS. Here I'm using VAMP, and uh, you can just check my other videos, and I explain it clearly what VAMP is and how I can. Uh, how it can be used in, in in the application in a very nice and clear manner okay uh, so this is for the local root folder okay and here we need to specify the folder where we'll be having all the images in one single folder so that it is easy to to locate any images that you have for your website okay and then here for the HTTP address here you need to specify the address of your uh, website since I'm running it on a local host I'm specifying as a local here okay and then we'll go to this remote info uh, link now since I'm running it on in, uh, I'm running it on a local host I'm specifying on a local host uh, I mean on a uh, local network if it was FTP I would have chosen FTP but now it is local I'm just using local here okay and then this is again the, f the folder of your of your web page where it's going to be um, I'll just click on select because this is the folder where I'm, I'll be having all my applications all my files here okay so we'll just select that and then we'll go to the texting server folder now uh, in the server model drop down we have this PHP MySQL since I'm using PHP as a front end and I'm using MySQL as a back end so I'm just using this one from the drop down menu I'm not I mean if I, if I were using ESP or GSP I would have or Cold Fusion for that matter I would have chosen that one here now for our application we are using PHP so I'm just gonna choose PHP and MySQL again it is on a local network I'm just gonna choose local from here and here the testing server folder I mean if we are testing our application where in testing in testing project that is the folder of our uh, of our application so I'm just gonna choose that and here the prefix in this folder I mean if we, you need to specify uh, um, <coughs> URL of your application here okay here what we need to f uh, for the for the local host I just need to specify the the name of the uh, of the website and type it this is the local host address and this is the address of my website okay and for the cloaking and other things I can uh, uh, we just need to we just don't really need to get into that because we have set our main basic configurations here so I'll just click on OK and uh, now this one is all set and done 
and uh, thank you for watching this video and in my next video i'll be showing you how i'll be showing you how you can uh, set up the database and how to get uh, the things started